Um, okay, my expectation to join that contest is like because I, I I'm very impressed with the um, uh, with the background with the history of Miss uh, Miss Universe Australia um, because um, the founder in Miss Mary Rose shared with me how and why she built Miss Universe Australia. So, so I'm really impressed with all the charity activity from from that uh, from that organization, and then I'm mm. the person who have uh, I, I growing up from a very poor family, okay. but we all have the the good heart. We we like to do uh, do our things. We want to grow. Uh, that means we want to grow every day, and we want to helping people, and then we want to make everyone surrounding us have the better life. And then we just want to bring the happy to everyone around us. So come to that contest, like with a lot of support from the organizers, from the sponsor, and from all our beautiful uh, friends come to that. So to me, that is a very big opportunity for me uh, to, to represent, like to, to, to tell people or to show like like to 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 show who I am, what I can do, and then what I can learn from people, and what I can do for the next charity work. So so to me, like that is my um, uh, expectation. That's with my hopeful hands, with my positive energies and thinkings, and then with my. Um, uh, with my uh, charity minds from when I was very little, I think I can uh, give a hand to that organization to meet the universe, uh, 2000, uh, Australia 2020, to live up to the higher level, to the next level, to where uh, the human have the very big voice, uh, will influence or inspire a lot of other human to do the uh, all the nice thing, good thing to 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 the community, to the people, especially our charity works. Uh, we will uh, we will we will good we can do as much as we we can to the community. Station is um I think first of all I'm really impressed with the organization. Of course, I had a bit of um research background about Marites about what she does, and also like you know you hear from people talking about what she is and how does she do how does she do this? especially one of the judges is my childhood crush <laughs> um passion and also you know how she built the organization and the charity events as well and i want to be part of those um organization it's just about inspiration it's very in inspirational to be to be a part of it and how i can like you know reflect this to myself and how i can like make some of my friends like a mom friends to join like to remove the taboo of a pageant you know that's the main thing for me and i want it to be more like um it's exclusive it's friendly it's part the women's the women who are part of us are like you know inspirational women they're all self-built up and really empowered this uh, competition, I expect to learn uh, from this experience, not just from the panel of judges, but also from other contestants. Everyone is unique and have their own life experience. Expectation is very simple. Um, first of all, I never get involved with Philippine community. So this is a first time opportunity to come across and I'm, I'm very fortunate to meet uh, Meritus and joining the Mrs. Universe Australia family. It's more about bonding the community together. And my expectation is to bring two community to, you know, to involve and helping people, helping the community and bringing awareness of what we women can do and empowering women. And uh, we, I'm hoping to bond, you know, with other contestants like Lin Ling, um, Vietnamese, you know, and uh, Casey, uh, Philippine, and Burmese. It's a varieties of mixture. So I, I'm really looking forward to obviously using this platform to uh, do more good cause for the community of every, every community, yes. So, uh, we all know that Filipinos are very good in 
you know, producing pageantry. So um, the reason why I decided to take this brand, franchise this brand, this is universe because I'm always after the brand. We would like to bring quality to the pageant. That is why we invited A-list Philippine celebrities. Pageants has always been my passion, I can say, because, you know, especially for Mrs. I believe Mrs. can inspire, empower more people, especially my heart is always to empower people, help them uplift you know, their position in life. Um, also, I would, like, I would love to immense myself with these events because I would like to amplify the brands of Filipino artists. Yes, I am an Australian, but of course, I was born and raised in the Philippines and I would like other nationalities, other backgrounds to know that being involved or being from different backgrounds can, you know, like boost their, they can, they can help their, um, they can help people, other people to, to like, to contribute something from their community because I believe that being a beauty queen is not to get, not to get or not to get something from the community. It is more on giving back to the community. That's my belief. In, ed, in any pageant and beauty contest, meron pong purpose and goal. Meron din sila mga advocacy. Kayo pa personally of organizing this pageant, what is your goal, your advocacy on doing this pageant? Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you for your question. So we formed this organization um, to, you know, for this one. We, we formed this organization for, for a reason that, you know, everyone deserves to have a platform to express their cause. Um, we are aiming to create an environment of exclusivity where even the married or divorced family woman has the freedom to show their beauty um, inside and out. That is the goal of our organization. And at the same time, as a Filipina in a foreign place, I wish to express my pride as one of my, as one by inviting Philippine-based designers such as uh, Chico Estiva and um, Vince Borja. Thank you po for that answer. Yung second question ko po, natanong kasi kanina ni Mel ba yung prices? Dun sa, you have, I think, 15 candidates. So, yung, hello? 11. 11. 11, 11. 11 sa Alan. Ah, 11, 11. Okay. So, ano po, ano po yung, yung title po ba, Mrs. Universe Australia yang O merong yung mga runner-up or, or yung ibang title na, na i-announce kayo on the coronation night? Uh, we have the Mrs. Universe Australia 2022. And then first runner-up, our first runner-up is Mrs. Universe Tourism Australia. And the second runner-up will be Mrs. Universe Humanity. I'd like to welcome also pageantry fanatics. To those candidates who want to answer my question, is there any pressure on your part uh, in joining this pageant? And what do you think is your best contribution to make this pageant successful? Because uh, this is first time. Maybe Miss Cassie, Casey, you want to answer the question? Yeah, of course. Uh, sorry, I was just trying to um, reiterate in my mind what was the question. For me, um, same with my platform. Because my plan is to um, 
you know, to reach out to other women and to um other matured to moms as well to have a positive feelings with their own bodies. You know, as after being a mom, we every woman have those different kind of thoughts about their own body. And I wanna um encourage to have those positive feelings to themselves. And also want to be a role model for our children. That's the main thing. And to be and the contribution as well. Sorry. The contribution for me is um I've been part of a nonprofit organization in Philippines. It's called um IMBA, which is Ikamuna Bagu Ako. We've been um yearly giving gifts to those who are in need. And that is I think one of my greatest contributions and also my character. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Hayes. Maybe that's all, Ms. Mr. Reis and Ms. Torites. Congratulations to all the candidates. Thanks, Alan. <clears throat>